Hey guys, Jared back. So we've got OmniROM for your Samsung Galaxy S4. Now in the link, or the link I should say, that I'm gonna be posting in the description below the video here, will actually take you directly to their website. And that way, because there's a, uh, this ROM is available for various different Samsung Galaxy S4 variants, um, just make sure you download the uh, one for your specific model. That said, let's go ahead and jump into the ROM, uh, starting out with the application tray. In here, of course, we've got the camera, um, though flashing parented Android G apps does not give us uh, photosphere, so you will have to figure that one out on your own. It's not difficult. Um, we also have quick access to developer options. Um, we have our new file manager here. Okay. Uh, we also have DSP manager, uh, Android music player. I believe that's the Android music player. If memory serves me too many applications swarming around in my head, um, as well as a dedicated torch application, which is cool. But now with done with now that we're done with the boring stuff, let's go ahead and jump in with the fun stuff. You'll notice pulling down the notification tray actually gives us this sort of custom um, header, which uh, changes depending on the time of the day and so on. Um, and of course, we have access to our quick toggles with immersive mode. Um, on this particular device, seeing as we have no nav bar, I don't really see a need need for immersive mode unless you want to get rid of your status bar um, but you know that's up to you but anyways let's go ahead and jump into the settings here and of course we have our own dedicated um, sort of like meat customization options here but uh, let's go ahead and move down so moving uh, starting out with sound here uh, was there anything in sound I can't no there wasn't anything in sound I wanted to show you maybe it was display uh, yes, so we do have notification lights. Um, we can change those or the colors that we want depending on the application. Same thing with charging. We have wake on plug and we do have some screen off animations for you guys to choose from fade out, electron beam and scale down. All three of those, I can never make up my mind. All three of them look really cool in my opinion. Um, we also have buttons here. So we've got a bunch of different options here so we can have volume button wake, uh, volume default, which is basically when you're uh, changing the volume up and down, do you want it to um, affect just the media, just the ringer or none, which would be an odd option to choose from, as well as custom actions. So this is where you can actually really start remapping both your, or all three, your back button, your home button, and your dedicated menu button. So as you can see, lots of different options for you guys to choose from there with long presses and single presses and so on, which is cool. Um, and moving on from there, we actually also have apps permissions, which is basically app ops. So go ahead and select any application in there and start modifying the permissions based on your desired conspiracy theory theory things or whatever. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Moving on from there, let's get up to the meat of the ROM here and starting out with bars um, in here, brightness control. So sliding your finger across the status bar will control the brightness. We also have notification count, uh, network speed indicator and network activity indicator. So as you can see here, uh, that number that's jumping around, that's the network speed indicator. So it lets you know whether, you know, what, how fast you're downloading basically, which is cool in my opinion, uh, as well as the network activity indicators, which is basically the up and down arrows in both your Wi-Fi as well as your data um, icons there, which is neat because they removed that uh, in KitKat, which pissed me off. Uh, jumping into menus, we have screenshot and screen record. So OmniROM, much like CyanogenMod, has um, this screen recording capability. So you can either um, check this box here. So when you go to long press in your power menu here, you'll notice we have screen record. So you can just tap that and start recording your screen or by long pressing the volume up and power button, which a lot of people might think uh, is really cool. So do I. Um, notification drawer, very simple. It's exactly what I told you before. There's your header. Sometimes it's hit or miss. Um, if I was to disable it and re-enable it, um, it might not actually show up. So obviously this is still a work in progress. We also have active display, which I showed you guys previously if you haven't watched my Nexus 5 video uh, with OmniROM. Um, this is just like the Moto X in every way, shape or form. It's it's exactly like it, active notification. And it works really, really, really well as well um, so if you're interested in what active display is because you don't know what it is just go on YouTube and just literally type in Moto X active display and it'll give you a demonstration there's tons of videos out there uh, clicking on more though we do have clear all button so if we were to go ahead and long press for our recent tasks you can see there's no clear all button but if I was to go ahead and uh, enable it when we go ahead and get back to recent tasks, we've got the little option down there in the bottom left hand corner, which you may not be able to see because the phone apparently was out of frame a little bit. Uh, we can also change the position of that clear all button and we also have access to memory indicator. So long pressing that now. Oops, where the hell? Where the heck was it? 
Hmm, doesn't seem like it's there. Again, some of these options work, some of them don't, but basically what, I'm sure if I rebooted the device, it would work just fine, but basically the memory indicator is how much RAM you have left if, um, up at the top, a little bar moving across the top there. So it's really convenient for a lot of people to, you know, monitor how much RAM is being used in their device at all times. Um, and that's it though, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you like the video. I, you know, Omni ROM, it's a great ROM. Um, you know, the guys are working very hard. They're adding features all the time. This is definitely a sweet stock Android ROM for you guys to consider. Um, but that's it. Hopefully, you liked the video. And if you did, click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. But that is it for now. Thanks as always for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.